How's it going everybody? My bad here. Coming in today with a overview and a cleaning. So this is this um, Dam Designs Invicta. I've um, carried it for about a week. I did some construction. I built a lean-to. Was uh, camping with it and a few other things. Uh, decided to keep this one, but I'm gonna I'm going to uh, replace it with a basculus that I'm going to clean up later. Well, let's go ahead and get down to it. Uh, as you can see right there, I've sharpened some pencils, construction pencils. I did not sharpen this pencil with it. I didn't even sharpen this pencil. It was a pencil stolen by me. I did a lot better job than that. Um, but uh, I sharpened one of those pencils with it. I've, act, I've opened a bunch of packages with it on the construction site. I've... Uh, are you just gibbering? Are you just gibbering? I love you. I um, took this, went underneath some um, thick uh, plastic straps that was holding um, roofing metal. So it's like uh, 12, point, uh, 12 and a half foot by three foot wide sheets, 29 gauge roofing metal. So it's pretty thick stuff. Had no problem cutting it. As you can see the blade there it isn't exactly clean got some uh, got some silicone still on it been opening tubes of silicone with it that tip right there might have a couple rolls in it I don't know if that silicone or rolls I think it's rolls but anyways we're gonna clean her up we're gonna do her right she's very very good knife when I was carrying her and she's going to be continue to be a good knife for me in the future because I actually like this design quite a bit it's very very comfortable in the hand there's a little bit of hot spot on the pocket clip but it's not too horrible besides that the ergo is pretty good it could go for a bigger uh, finger tool right here I love the steel that it's in in 154cm it held up very very nicely well let's go ahead and start dismantling If you want, I can get the camera off my ugly mug and bring you down here to the map. As you can see, we're using isopropyl alcohol to clean it up with, and this one is going to be the first knife that gets the slick em all. I also need my KME because we're going to sharpen the blade up as well. Let's go ahead and bust out the gear. And that definitely looks like a T10. I'll grab it and see what it what it is. It is not a T10, so it's got to be a T8. I was thinking that was a little bit big, and it is a T8. Is this a T10? No, it's a T8. So that's gonna simplify things I got nothing but T8 hardware in uh, damn design so that's good to go I actually like that it's very very nice go ahead and take this pocket clip off Ooh. That was T6, I'm pretty sure that was short. But I appreciate the T8s. Pretty easy to take apart. That's back pin right here. It wants to be stuck, but I unstick it. Got them cage ball bearings. And there you go. So, I could take that apart, but I'm not going to. So, there you go. I could take this out. Like I said, I'm not going to. I don't think there's much 
meat in it. Put, separate those two pins. The reason for that is. Hmm. I want to get that pivot out. There we go. Just need a little bit more force. Got that pivot out. Oh, I can take it apart. I'm just going to go ahead and do it then. There you go. Let's get these ball bearings up here. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Whoops, that's a different knife. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Fourteen little tiny pieces. And, you know, the bigger pieces. Out. Pretty generous with their rubbing alcohol, it's not expensive at all. There's no reason to skimp on it. get these pieces nice and clean before I put them back in. I really need to clean off this pad again. This pad collects dust like nobody's business. I never put it up. It just stays here in my old workspace in the camper we're staying in until we get our land cleared off, which is not going well. It's been kind of a pain. But we'll have it done in a year or two. Hopefully we're not here that long. Alright, stuff's so cleaning up pretty good. Very nice G10 scales. I've never had a problem with them. They always grip well. Still liners are actually pretty decent on those. Been uh, somewhat stone washed and acid washed. So it helps out on the uh, corrosion. The acid wash does. Stone wash really doesn't. but it matches the blades, so I like it. Mm. I had used some pretty sticky stuff on this now, and it held up. Um, I would definitely, uh, just buying this knife. I mean, obviously, because I'm keeping it. This particular one, I am. Grumpy Grunt said something about uh, sending me a knife and Invictus to give away. So, you may have a giveaway Invictus pretty soon. One of these days. Might be able to get that graphite off there. That graphite is not wanting to come on at all. Well, thumb rub's helping it out more than the paper towel is. Thumb rub took most of it off. All right. There's the bigger pieces. And throw that one away and we'll start messing with the smaller bits. G10 backspacer. It's always good to do a little bit of maintenance on your knives. I'm by no means a expert. We'll get into 
one of the reasons why I'm not an expert in a video or two because we're coming back to the K390 man bug. We're going to redo it and do it properly. My bad. Y'all seen my, my fail, failure video. But we're going to correct that. These ball bearings. I can probably hear a little bad in the background. If y'all like these kind of videos where uh, I'm taking the uh, knives apart and doing a little bit of maintenance on them, give, them a, give, give the video a thumbs up and get in the comment section uh, and tell me uh, what you would do differently or um, what could help me out more. I was watching a video from um, my good friend and friend of the channel, uh, All Things Knives, uh, and I had forgotten to pick up this product but his video reminded me I needed some bar some barkeepers friend and those help out knives a lot so we're gonna start putting this one back together and that may be a difficult job because this part that my bad does not excel at Had a little bit of grit in there, but now it's gone. Take this one. Stick her back in now. All right. Place pin back in there. And I said we was going to use the slick them all. Now I don't know what happened to my little tubes. There it is. That's what I'm wanting. Start pushing this through here. And pawn it just a hair around the pivot. Now this is not exactly a thin oil lube. This is more of a grease, it looks like. OCD for EDC might be correcting me in the comments. It's like, it's not, it's not grease, it's lube. It's like, well, it looks like grease right now to me, I don't know. I could be right. Um, it says it's, um, it's a salve for EDC gear, so I guess it is a, it, it is a grease. Working temperatures uh, negative four degrees to 175 degrees. So this is not something that I probably need to use in the winter if I was still working in Chicago. But since I work in Arkansas, the coldest temperatures I've ever seen in Arkansas is like five degrees. So that's a good, good bit above what this says. So should have no problem. Alright, I believe this was through the back space. Uh, oh, yeah, fits perfectly. Let me get this pin. Right, yeah. And then we'll take this. Put some slick them all in here. We're going to do another knife. In the gunny glide and do a comparison here pretty soon. Probably be next video.
just so. Y'all know that I'm not just kissing OCD for EDC's butt. Although I do like the man pretty good. He's a pretty good guy. Hmm. What happened? Oh, there it is. I was about to freak out. I thought I lost a... Uh... Oh. I forgot the backspacer. Of course I forget something. When does my bad not forget something? Disengage for that. Pull it back out, which is not an easy task. There we go. Ooh! I definitely did. I did drop that pin. God, I can see it. And it was an easy retrieve. That could have been bad. That could have went a lot better. But you already know my bad's messing, messing things up. Hmm. I'm going to have to figure this one out. I forgot how that was in there. It shouldn't be too big of a deal. I think I got it now and I do. Alright. Now, let's try not to make that mistake again. There we go. Now, here comes the really difficult part. That's the good thing about having tools that are magnetic because this can become a pain in the tuchus, a pain in the laboot, and not very fun. Still quite a bit of play there. Let's just go ahead and tighten that to the door. Oh yeah, can't have it near tight. Still don't. Put a little pressure on her. That's all the way tight. Back spacers all the way. A little bit more on that. Still a little side to side. A little bit more. No side to side. Ooh. That's some good action right there. Maybe a little bit tighter. Pretty impressed with that. Oh, very impressed with that slick them all. Definitely no side to side now. I don't know if y'all can see it. Very nice action. Slick them all. Did a pretty decent job. If I don't drop and mess this knife up. We'll be doing a sharpening uh, video on this here soon. But I just wanted to get it all nice and cleaned up. Appreciate y'all watching this 20 minute video of me rambling on about the damn designs Invictus. Let me pull y'all back up so y'all can see my ugly mug. very good knife got nice action I like the blade profile I'm always a drop point fan um, I love 154 cm the blade uh, did very very well I still got to do a little bit of sharpening I could probably just drop this up and make it right again 
but we'll put a 20 degree bevel in the next video on it and then at that point we'll just use a strop on it for the duration I uh, appreciate you watching the video once again. Please like, share, and subscribe. Comment on my bad's videos. Tell on my bad what you'd like to see. If you like these uh, taking apart and putting back to, uh, together videos, uh, give me a like, give me a comment, tell me what you think. Besides that, y'all have a good one now. Bye-bye.